Hi everyone, my name is Liz and I'm the coordinator of two of the programs here at Conestoga College. So I wanted to welcome you to our Conestoga College Open House for Computer Programming, the two-year program in Computer Programming Analysis, the three-year program with optional co-op. So there's two programs that we're talking about, the two-year, which does not have a co-op option, and the three-year, which after your second level or second semester, you can apply for the optional co-op. So the difference between the two-year and three-year is the three-year definitely has one more year of programming, one more year of different securities, and the I think the main language after the t first two years is Java, more databasing with Oracle, and more um, technology subjects. There is an admission procedure, and this admission procedure is on the internet. It's um, basically marks. You get 10 additional marks if you take a advanced level course. We strongly suggest a mathematical background for the program because it's the logistics of coding, but it's not absolutely necessary. We have a college math and a college English. That's a requirement. So the main topics are, we're gonna take you right from someone that's never programmed before so that you can be a coder, you can design logical flowchart, you can create mobile apps, you're going to create different business applications for users, and a lot of database coursing. We do have one course in the two year in technical infrastructures, and we have two courses in the three year, so there's another difference, and it's mainly um, how a programmer would look at the infrastructure not as a technical person, but more of as a programmer and what they need. We do have math, we have computerized accounting, general education courses, which all colleges have, and we have like a college reading and writing. Well, if we're in the classroom environment, we do have fairly small classes. They're between 30 and 40. The teacher is usually always in the classroom. We do suggest that you may have between 24 hour, hours of homework per week. We have up-to-date labs, we have BYOD labs, and we have open labs for if you forget your laptop or you want to do a subject on the college equipment, we have that. At the end of your two year or three years, we have what's called capstone projects. And this is a showcase, hopefully, and it's at the Waterloo campus. All our courses are at the Waterloo campus. I tried to put this out so that you could kind of see how it works. So when you come in either in CP or CPA, it doesn't make any difference. Your first and second level are exactly the same. We do have a winter intake, so if you don't do so well in the fall courses, you can take it another course again in the winter if there's room. And then we also have a level two in the summer, for it's sort of like summer school. At this point though, you would then try and make your application in for co-op if you were interested in co-op and you were in CPA. You would then go to school, whether you're in co-op or non-co-op, for level three and level four, which is sort of year two. And then if you're not in co-op, you would then take year three. If you were in co-op, you would take four levels, so four semesters in a co-op stream. So you could either you know, do one four months in one company, eight months in a company, 16 months in a company, and then you would come back for your final year. To apply to co-op, it's all based on marks. So it's sort of like a top-down structure on marks. And we have a cutoff, what the co-op office tells us that we can submit students. 
I just wanted to make a small note, note that the, the college does have some part-time positions. A lot of them, I'm afraid, are at Dune. There's not as many at Waterloo campus. And one of the requirements is that you must be able to apply for to job study. Materials and costs, I, these are things that people ask me when we normally do this within the classroom. And I'm going to say that the costs are all based on the tuition that the college will tell you all the amount on financials. I don't know anything too much about financials. The software though, the college has free software to students that are working in our program. So you can have Microsoft Office, you can download Visual Studio. So a lot of the software that we teach and we use, you can download for free while you're a student at Conestoga College. There is also a website on the college on the college website that talks about BYOD. So at Waterloo campus, we're all BYOD, every single course. So we have the minimum requirements. If you can afford more, definitely go for it. This is the minimum requirements. It does say Microsoft Windows 10 or Apple OS X. I'm going to make the suggestion that I am a Windows environment person, so all my computers are Windows. I have had students use Apple computers. It's a little bit different structure and it's not quite as easy. So if you haven't bought a computer at this point, I would go for the Windows computers. We do have a number of degree completion affiliations. So it's basically saying that when you finish Conestoga College and if you wanted to further advance your education, you can take different universities and they'll tell you how many credits they will give you for the college diploma. Obviously you'd get more credits for college diploma if you took three years versus two years. And you can, you don't have to take them right away. You can do that, you know, work for a couple of years and then make the application. All our students are usually employed. We have a very high employment rate. And again, that is at the Conestoga College's website. I just put some companies here, but I'm gonna say over 80% of companies in Kitchener-Waterloo have a Conestoga College graduate. Expected annual income, I said between 40,000 to 78,000. I think 40 is a little low. I might go maybe 45, but in that general range. So computer programming, here's some students that were in it. And they, I asked them, what would you say that, the call, that you would say that you learned from taking computer programming? So these are the comments that they said. So I create solutions. I'm on the fast track. I enjoy teamwork. Trying to say that, yes, you do a lot of programming. You do a lot of design work to know how to solve the problem for the users. Um, two years is on a fast track, and there is teamwork. So here's just a little video. This is level one in your HTML class. It was just sort of a fun thing that they did in level one, putting a video inside of HTML. So here's the comments from the programming and analysis students. Again, I find solutions. I like technology. I am current and marketable. marketable. Here's the computer programming courses. So this kind of gives you a kind of an outline. You'd be taking programming concepts one, user experience, web foundations. There's a math and elective. In level two in the winter, you take programming concepts two if you've passed programming concepts. Introduction to data modeling, dynamic websites, networking, and math two. So that's just a sample of the courses that you might, that
that you're probably going to be taking. So it works out level one, level two, level three, level four. So you'd be done and graduate in winter 21. Here's the same kind of concept, but these are just the core courses. I don't have college reading and writing and I don't have the math. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's your levels again for programming concepts one, user interface, level two, level three is a little bit different. You have web tech, small business solutions, systems analysis and design and game programming with data structures. So the winter in level two, you'd have software quality assurance, Java, database SQL, and TI networking operating system. And this one has a little Python, Windows Server. Now, if you were in the co-op stream, you would now go out for four, four consecutive semesters for your co-op. If not, you would continue on with semester five and semester six. So my name again is Liz Stacy. I'm the coordinator for computer programming analysis and computer programming. You can ask any questions by emailing me at lstacey, L-S-T-A-C-E-Y, at Conestoga C for Conestoga College, .on .ca. And thank you so much for listening to me and thanks so much for your interest in Conestoga College. Hopefully I'll see you in the fall in orientation.